Hey, this is Mary Egbert from Comage Fiber Arts, and today I'm going to show you the Golden Fleece Tabletop Carter, sold exclusively by Watt Heritage Fiber Tools, and they are at cluckinacritterfarm.com. <laughs> What's well, really cool about this um, carter is it actually will adjust, and you can move it to whatever angle you like, and there's little locks on it. So when I do rollags, I do them sitting and I bring up the cloth a little bit higher. And you'll see it in my other video because when I'm pulling down, I let gravity kind of help. And then I use my large muscles to push down instead of pushing away, which can be difficult on your shoulders. And then when I blend for dizzing, I sit and I keep it flat because then I can pull it off this way. So I'm going to show you how to put on the fiber with it flat. So we just do it just like any other blending board that you have. But what's really cool about this one is it clamps to the table. I don't have to put it in my lap. It doesn't move around. I mean, that is the key to this um, blending board, which I love because I've used other blending boards before and I hated that they were in my lap and I couldn't keep them. I don't know, there was just something about it. So this is really an ingenious idea. The cloth size is 11 by 8 inches and it's a 72 DPI, has double pins so it blends nicely. And I don't have the correct tool to, <laughs> to um, brush in the fibers, so I'm just going to use a dog brush. This is what I use on my, on my regular carter. So if it's good for my regular carter, it's good enough for this. I'll put in a couple more layers. So this is a um, this is a woolen preparation, which means you're prepping your wool or your fiber to spin woolen yarn. Now woolen yarn is yarn that has a lot of air in it. It's really lofty and warm, and it's usually spun long draw. And the same with row legs. That is a woolen preparation. You know, but say you're one of those one of those people that it's like, but all I spin is worsted. That's all I can do. Well, you can still use this prep. It would be it would be called a semi worsted yarn because you're using a woolen prep and you're using the worsted technique. So you can spin any prep any way. It just is called something different. And don't worry about it if you don't know it. It's not a big deal. But worsted yarns are tighter. Um, and you smooth the fiber down as you spin it. So it, it wears a lot better than a woolen yarn. Okay, so that's how I put the fiber on standing, um, and I'm going to get ready to diz. So I've got a couple different dizzes here. One is clay and has a little dog on the front, and it's so cute. It has five different hole sizes, and then this one's a wooden one, and it has three. One's a concave side, and one is a convex side. You know, you'll kind of practice with different dizzes and see this one's a little bit heavier, this one's, of course, a little bit lighter. You find out the diz that works best for you. So when I 
diz with this, I put the fiber through the concave side so the fibers funnel into the diz. So I take one edge, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit, and I'm going to twist the fibers together. Now there's a little tool to put it through the hole, but I don't have that little tool, so I'm going to use a knitting needle. And of all the tools I don't have, right, it's just it's that little tool. So I bring it through the hole. Now I'm going to diz this way across the board, that way across the board, and then all the way up until I'm done. So now what you need to do is you need to draft, and then you're going to pull up the diz. Now one of the things about the drafting is you need to know what the staple length is of your what the staple length is of your fiber because you don't want to draft past that staple length. So you may want to test your fibers first to see what the staple length is. So if you had say you had a 4 inch staple length, you're not going to draft 4 inches because the fiber will, will pull apart. So you want to draft. I mean you can draft 2 inches if you want to go slow. You can draft three inches, you know, it's all up to you. But the fibers will catch, and I'm kind of angling this way a teeny bit, because I'm going that way. And if you can't seem to draft, just kind of pull it up from the carding cloth a little bit. And now I am going to head this way. And if you want, you can bring your fibers into the funnel just a little bit to have them grab. Now I try all sorts of different grasps and grips on, on um, my diz. Sometimes I'll hold it like this. I don't know why. It just seems to give me um, better control, at least for me. And I can kind of push those. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm cheating. But you know what? It gets the job done. It doesn't matter, right? As long as you end up with what you want, it's A-OK. -okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the right, drafting. See, I can't make up my mind how to hold it. But And I'll pinch close to the diz. I don't want to pinch too far away from it because then I'm going to be drafting the fibers outside the diz and it will break. So keep your fingers close when you draft. This is way easier on my shoulders doing it flat because my arms are down versus if I say I had it angled and my hands were up like this, my shoulders would get so tired. Um, and it's called ergonomics. I'm a physical therapist and I've been a physical therapist for 20 years. And it, a lot of th um, the work we do is all about ergonomics and how you set up your workstation to put the least amount of stresses and strains on your joints, lig ligaments, and tendons, and to prevent that overuse injury. The overuse injury we get from um, knitting and crocheting and carding and spinning so we want to do this for a long time so you want to protect these fibers at the very top seem very short I'm going to kind of give them a little head start I'm not going to draft these because they're so tiny I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the rest of that in there so stay close to the diz come on baby Yay, we did it. Yay. Those are going to be a little bit um, delicate, so I'll fold it over and we'll roll up that little nest. And these fibers were pretty delicate, so I'm going to get a really delicate, a really delicate roving. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Okay, so you can find me um, on Facebook at Kamaj Fiber Arts. You can get these amazing um, tabletop blending boards at cluckinacritterfarm.com from Watts Fiber Tools, Heritage Fiber Tools. Um, I am also the um, person who 
sells those spinning boxes every month full of spinning fiber for your pleasure. You can um, find those at spinningbox.com. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.